Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here we discuss race, ethnicity, spirometry reference equations, and prediction of incident clinical events by researchers across the United States. The inclusion of race and ethnicity in diagnostic algorithms is a long-standing practice in medicine. In particular, reference equations for spirometry, a common lung function assessment, often include terms on race and ethnicity. However, the use of such diagnostic equations reinforces implicit racial bias and can increase disparities in healthcare by directing more resources toward white patients. Further, race and ethnicity are largely social constructs and their classification can be inaccurate due to perceived, non-self-reported other definitions of race and ethnicity and increasing numbers of people who identify with more than one race or ethnicity. The goal of this work was to answer the question, does the inclusion of race and ethnicity in spirometry reference equations improve the prediction of chronic lower respiratory disease? To find out, researchers from the United States revisited data derived from the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis, or MESA lung study, a population-based prospective cohort study that performed spirometry on white, black, Hispanic, and Asian adults between 2004 and 2006. This study used race and ethnicity-based reference equations to calculate the predicted values of forced expiratory volume in one second, or FEV1, and forced vital capacity, or FVC, two important spirometry parameters. The team applied a risk-based approach to assess if these equations improved the prediction of incident chronic lower respiratory disease events and all-cause mortality compared to race and ethnicity neutral equations. They found no evidence to support that FEV1 and FVC values calculated using race and ethnicity-based reference equations improved the prediction of incident chronic lower respiratory disease events and all-cause mortality. These findings indicate that clinicians should reconsider the use of race and ethnicity-based spirometry equations and adopt contemporary race and ethnicity neutral approaches to conduct spirometry assessments for populations of different ethnicities. Adopting these approaches would be another step forward in diminishing the race and ethnicity bias and furthering global efforts to diminish health disparities. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Emily Sachs and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.